Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me for another video on um, bullet journaling. Um, I know that sometimes my videos are a little bit random and sometimes I don't have a lot to say, but I'm doing um, the best I can to open up to you guys without feeling weird about it. The theme for November is going to be like autumn leaves and acorns with a little bit of a stained glass kind of theme here and there. You'll see what I mean a little further in. This video is a little longer than usual. Um, I hope you enjoy it. It took me quite a bit of time to get it done, so I'm really happy with how it turned out in spite of the mishaps that you will also see. Get ready. This theme does feel a little basic. You know, every November, every autumn, people are doing autumnal themed journals. And even though it does feel basic, it was a bit of a challenge for me to like try to get these leaves looking even remotely like leaves so in my attempt to like simplify them I started with the like veins of the leaves to kind of give me some framework to be able to do the little edges of each leaf whether it be a smooth rounded edge or a more peaked jaggedy edge One of the things I love the most about this time of year is the way that leaves change in the certain parts of the world, not where I live, unfortunately. Um, I would give anything to move to a place where there are leaves changing colors. It's just so amazing. I can't even, I can't even. It also reminds me of my honeymoon with my husband in 2018 when we went to uh, Quebec and other parts of Canada and we got to see the leaves changing there. And it was just, it was so magical because uh, one of my favorite books is Anne of Green Gables, the entire series, not just the first book, which is Anne of Green Gables, but every book that came after, amazing. And being able to visit the house where it, supposedly took place was just a, a life-changing moment, a dream come true. And here is where all the trouble begins. Warning, do not try to cut paper that is still wet from watercolor. This is where I made my first and second fatal flaw for this design and I almost lost uh, What's the word that I'm looking for? I almost lost faith that I would get this done because I, I, I really wanted to start over, but I've made a strict rule for myself that I wouldn't rip out any pages, I wouldn't start anything over and just accept any mistakes that happen. And I did, and it didn't come out terribly here. And you'll see that I fix it. The uh, colored pens that I'm using in, on this um, spread is the Papermate Inkjoy gel pens. And let me tell you that this was a mistake as well, 
because uh, putting watercolor over top of these kind of made the ink smear a little bit. Not a ton, but noticeable to me. You might not even notice it, I'm not sure, but we'll see. Um, I accepted the consequences of my actions here, and you know, it is what it is. And that's been my motto since the beginning of 2020. We all know what happened there. Pardon any drilling sounds that you might hear in the background. My husband is putting together our new dining room chairs just because we needed to refresh the seat cushions of our old couch. Uh, our old dining room chairs were falling apart and looking disgusting and they were really upsetting and leaving bits of pleather everywhere. So we've opted to get these chairs that had no seat cushions so we can apply seat cushions if we wish, ones that we can remove, throw in the wash if we need to. So we're really happy about that so far. But yes, if you can hear the drills in the background, that is what's happening in the next room. I did block the door, but you might still be able to hear it. This year has really flown by, like, with all the things that have gone down, with uh, losing my dog at the beginning of the year, changing jobs, you know, losing Maple. It's just been a, a difficult year overall. Um, but I'm really excited that next year could be potentially better. Fingers crossed on that one. Um, I've been saying, I've been wishing for that since the end of 2020, because that was a disaster. Um, but I'm really excited for the new chapter, and hopefully soon I'll be announcing the little ephemera shop that me and my friend are working on as partners. One of the reasons I love acorns is, no secret here, Studio Ghibli. Uh, my neighbor Totoro um, is just such a whimsical film and finding acorns and believing that there's a tree spirit, um, leaving them behind as gifts or as like a sign to you is just the most endearing thing. But um, I've always felt uh, that acorns are just a huge representation of how so much can come from something so little because acorns grow to be these huge trees and it's just amazing to me. Um, but also, um, in uh, Celtic mythology, it is a, a symbol of fertility and rebirth and I think it's a sign to me that it's a sign that this life will be some sort of rebirth and that next year will actually be better like i can't imagine another a better sign for me 
and it's supposed to bring good luck so let's keep our fingers crossed if you find an acorn please let me know i don't care if it's like 10 years from now come back to this video and comment it down below or if you find one this week comment that as well um let me know what you think are signs of good luck or what you think are like little signs from the universe Initially, when I was making this um, cover page, I didn't know what I wanted to use to fill the bottom of this like Dutch door type style. And yeah, it's true, I do not usually plan things out. That's possibly why this uh, page started out like a train wreck. But um, here is the stained glass that I was promising, sort of. It's just that it was a, I wanted each section in between the veins of the leaf to kind of be like a stained glass type of sectioning. Um, I don't know if it came through, but I like the way it turned out. It was a little mosaic-y stained glass, whatever you want to call it. Speaking of signs from the universe, uh, the other day I was with my friend and business partner and we were taking a walk through a park and we, I came across one, what I thought was a fox. It might have been a coyote, but I'm going to continue thinking it was a fox um, because our uh, logo has to do with foxes. It's a little self-serving, but she loves it and I love it. And then while we were together, we saw a second, what I'm going to call a fox, even though it's possibly a coyote. I don't know which of the, it was, but it was a sign to me from the universe that things are going as they should. And you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. And I'm calling them foxes, even if they're coyotes, because they're symbolic. They're very similar. When you go to look them up, I can barely tell the difference, besides a, a little of the coloring, but there are some foxes that look similar to coyotes. That's all I'm saying. I'm going to leave that here.
love about nature and when you're drawing it is that it doesn't have to be perfect to look like the thing that you're trying to draw. It just has to look even a little bit similar to kind of give you the flavor of what you're trying to draw, which, you know, in some things like hands and like eyes, it's freaking impossible for me, which is why I usually avoid those items. As a kid, I used to deliberately draw the girls that I draw with their hands behind their back, like resting their hands one in the other behind her back so you wouldn't have to see them or like covered with some sort of fabric in the picture or holding something so that I could hide the hands because they were so hard for me to do. I don't know if it's because we're really close to Halloween, but a lot of weird things was happening with my recording um, equipment. Like my camera kept stopping and like not recording. So there were little chunks, which I figured out a way to make it look like it was intentional, but it was so weird and so like, not necessarily spooky, but mysterious. And I've been having issues with a few of my devices, which, again, I don't know if it's related to the spooky season or what have you, but um, it was definitely a challenge this time around. All the little things that kept going awry, like from the mistakes that don't usually happen to my camera stopping recording, who knows, what else could happen, right? I don't usually use really saturated uh, watercolor ink, but this time something happened. I'm not sure if I was just wasn't paying attention, but this leaf right here turned out so dark and so maroon. It was not my intention, but uh, you know, it is what it is. It's there and it's staying. To be honest, I'm surprised that this red pen even showed up on that maroon leaf, but I'm kind of glad it did because it, it let me believe that it wasn't as dark as it looks.
And here is the final mosaic slash stained glass leaf that I'll be doing for this month's uh, journal setup. Um, I was about to show you guys what I'm going to be for Halloween, which I was planning to be Megara, but apparently it does not want me to add it to this video. It won't let me, it won't let me adjust it, it's the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. So annoying. Um, but uh, let me know down below what you plan to be for Halloween, if you're dressing up. I love Halloween. I, I know it's not like a character trait, but it's so much fun to just pretend to be somebody else, especially when the world that we live in can be so mundane and we just need these little sparks of uh, imagination and whimsy to really make the day go by in such a way that's not like soul sucking. Adobe, if you're listening, sometimes Premiere Pro is not my best friend. In spite of the fact that I'm trying to use like professional products and professional equipment, not always my friend. Please troubleshoot. Here's the final flip through of um, what we did today. Um, I hope you joined me in setting up your month for November. Um, I hope November goes well for you. Sometimes holidays can be stressful. Family can be stressful. Um, but I hope that everything goes smoothly. That nobody's turkey burns this year. Mine hasn't yet, thank goodness. But... Um, I'll keep you guys posted and I appreciate you sticking with me until the end. If you did, please leave a maple leaf. That would make me so happy. And here I'll leave some videos that you can uh, watch next. Please share with a friend, like, subscribe, all that good stuff.